Today, Metrolinx issued a statement that Crosslinx Transit Solutions intends to litigate and stop working with the TTC, delaying the delivery of the Eglinton Crosstown indefinitely. The minister assured the public that they were working on a solution. Instead, this is now the third lawsuit to delay the public-private partnership. Ontarians have already paid CTS half a billion dollars to settle two previous lawsuits. Given the announcement today, my question is simple. Is this minister in control of the P3 project or not? To reply, the minister of Transportation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member opposite for the question. I've always been clear. Our government is committed to getting this transit system built, but we want to make sure that it is safe for transit riders when that happens. I am extremely frustrated and disappointed by the latest delay tactics that CTS announced uh, just this morning. It's another delay tactic that's just meant to distract and delay from the work that needs to get done, and it is unacceptable, Mr. Speaker. But to be clear, construction is still ongoing and CTS still needs to provide Ontarians with a credible schedule. The project has gone on long enough. Communities across Eg the Eglinton Road and across Ontario have been waiting for too long for this transit system to open. I've been very clear with Metrolinx, Response. Mr. Speaker, that they need to do everything they can to force CTS to provide us with a credible schedule that will be able to allow us to give Ontarians, once and for all, a credible opening date. Supplementary Ontarians paid a steep premium for the contract with Crosslinks Transit Solution because the public were told that with a public-private partnership, the private would assume the risks and the public would benefit. Now we're hemorrhaging over a billion dollars with absolutely no timeline as to when the Eglinton LRT will be completed or a credible plan to complete it. Will the minister at least admit that this P3 project has failed. Minister of Transportation. Well, I will say, Mr. Speaker, and it's clear to everyone in this House, that the Liberals signed a contract with CTS in 2011, and they mismanaged it from the start, and our government has been learning from the Liberal mistakes. And that's why, when we put forward our subway plan for the GTA, we decided to do things differently. We brought in the Building Transit Faster Act, Mr. Speaker, a piece of legislation that allows us to get rid of unnecessary delays. We break up procurements on our new projects, Mr. Speaker, learning from liberal mistakes of the past. And what are Ontarians seeing for these changes, Mr. Speaker? They're seeing real significant progress on the Ontario line, on the Scarborough subway extension, on the Eglinton Crosstown West extension, and on the Young North subway extension, Mr. Speaker, which are all projects that that member and her party opposite voted against. Mr. Speaker, we are Response. committed to delivering transit. We will make sure that CTS provides us with a credible schedule, and we will make sure it opens, and when it does open, it is safe for transit riders. The final supplementary. I'll tell the minister what Ontarians are dealing with. These are facts. Over 12 years of construction, over $13 billion in costs so far, Hundreds of small businesses hurt, tens of thousands of people's daily lives disrupted. And after all this, we still have no transit, not even a timeline or a credible plan. Given this disastrous result of the P3 project, has the government, this government and this minister, learned a lesson and commit to never using P3s to deliver vital public infrastructure? Mr. Transportation. Mr. Speaker, well, we have learned one thing, and it's something that all Ontarians know is that the Liberals made mistake after mistake after mistake when they were in government, and the NDP supported them when they held the balance of power, Mr. Speaker. We learned from the Liberal mistakes, and that's why we committed to doing things differently. But unfortunately for Ontarians, Mr. Speaker, that member and her party opposite don't support us. 
we brought forward the most ambitious transit expansion plan for the, G for the GTA, the most tr ambitious transit expansion plan anywhere in North America, and they voted against it. We bring forward operational funding support for the TTC as well as for all municipal transit systems, and they vote against it. Mr. Speaker, we are learning from the Liberal mistakes. We are doing things differently, and we do have shovels in the ground on our priority transit projects. We will get those done. But with respect to CTS, Mr. Speaker, we Response. expect them to fulfill the commitments they made to the people of Ontario in 2011 and to open a transit system that works and that is safe. Yeah.